I'd like to buy the world a home and furnish it with love. Grow apple trees and honeybees and snow white turtle doves. I like to teach the world to sing, sing with me. Perfect harmony, perfect harmony. I like to buy the world a home and keep it company. Anthony. Episode 11. Guys, everyone, everyone just saw our, our little calming pre show ritual. Yes. I'd yes. like to buy the do we have world. To, do we have to explain this or no explanation so, is needed? So, if anyone has been alive in, <laughs> uh, on this crew during the early 70s, that was a, a Coca Cola commercial. I buy the world, it. smile, keep it up. Okay. So, yeah. um, this commercial for me took on particular deeper meaning after watching Mad Men. So it, it's big spoiler is coming ahead right now. <laughs> if you haven't seen Mad Men and you're intending to mute me for like, you know, three minutes or two minutes. <laughs> so at Mad Men is a, a advertising show from back in the in the 50s or 60s, no, 60s, 70s. That's right. Mm -hmm. And where the men drink like scotch all day at the office and <laughs> they're having sex with this. <laughs> <laughs> the staff and like it's just a crazy thing that was going on and in uh in new york right it's like basically a real story so there's all these characters with all these issues and so on and john ham the actor he plays this unredeemable womanizer who was abused as a child and it filters through his marriage and his work and everything yeah. but he happens to be this brilliant ad man brilliant but then he suffers several breakdowns and he runs away. He just runs away from millions of dollars that he's making. And he goes, he goes to this commune out in California and he's on a hilltop and he's stretching and he doesn't want anything to do with the advertising executive world, which is something I can understand. Right. And he, he just wants peace. And they're doing this. Um, yeah. um, yeah. um, right. So we adopted right? that. <laughs> right? Adopted now, that. right before the end, he gets a call. And it's one last pitch. Coca-Cola has come to their office. And they want this great commercial. Okay. And he goes, I don't want to be bothered by it. But down deep, we're like, hmm, I don't know. I think he does. <laughs> he does want I think be. he wants to be bothered. Yeah. He's got to be pushed. Yeah. And so you could just see. His mind is thinking, thinking, thinking. And he's sitting there with all these hippies and the ocean, the Pacific Ocean's in the background. He's on this beautiful hilltop, right? And the girl, the, the gypsy or the, 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 the whatever she was, the hipster, she's got these little <laughs> ring symbols. Oh, yeah. the symbols. And the yeah. symbols. Ching. And you op he opens his eyes. Ching. And I like to buy the world. And it cuts to that. And it's almost like, and his eyes open. 
as soon as he hears that and huh. it goes to the commercial and you know he then gets the inspiration to do he's back he's come back as this incredible age but the guy is irredeemable as a human he's a horrible <laughs> husband he's yeah. he's not exactly a horrible boss but like he does questionable things anyways yeah. uh it was phenomenal i love mad men so yeah. you know hopefully and it inspired this beautiful opening i love this <laughs> i love this i have talked to you guys about this nearly every oh yeah episode. yeah it's this, true uh, you started this you yeah, started I, yeah i really love this moment and <laughs> yeah and you know when we were kids um this commercial was on all the time all the time all the time yes. I heard. Yeah, I, yeah. Know I heard. I know you. I heard. I know. I know. <laughs> Her little, a little different commercial. Baby bird. Yeah. Uh, right. So, uh, <laughs> so it, it just reminds me of a less complicated time in life. Mm -hmm. And and I know people can like insinuate whatever they want with that, but mm -hmm. for yeah. me, my life was a lot more simpler back then. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, you know, when uh, the segue here is when you go from something that is a romantic dream notion and it becomes your passion um there are other hidden tolls that must be paid and you don't know you don't know yeah. what those tolls are until yeah. you start going down the road and, and it, yes it starts to kick your ass a little bit and i remember that commercial and it just it means a lot to me yeah so. that's, Anyways, that's awesome just Anthony, thank you for for looking that up because I know right before no we problem. started the show, you you dug in and you found it. You made yeah, it happen. We found man. it. We, I was sweating, but we found you made <laughs> it happen, brother. Found the way to get it all up here. Uh, yeah, I I like that you talk about that because uh, real quick, you just put out a, an amazing post the other day, uh, uh, a story about something like that oh, happening. Yeah. The cable installers. Yeah, yeah, the cable installers. Man, every time there, you put something out there, I just can't believe this stuff actually happened. But uh, yeah. there was a price to pay. Uh, there was a there, price to pay. Yeah, there, there is. That, that day was humiliation times one hundred in front yeah. of my wife. <laughs> yeah. Very, very, very difficult. I, I, yeah. I am way past the emotional. Yeah, mm -hmm. where it drags me down, where I just okay. suck my thumb and cry yeah. in the fetal position. Yeah. I'm way, <laughs> way past that. And now where I make, you are. Yeah, Red Rocky Ball, Files, I, baby. I, yeah, Rocky Files, baby. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> episode. Uh, what are we? Eleven, uh, right? Eleven, eleven. Yeah. Exactly. So people, people are gonna think, you know, like, what's this episode about? And uh, right, right. We just thought it would be fun, the three of us, to, you know. It's not a huge milestone, but it kind of is because, yeah. you know, Stacy came around to us and, you know, we didn't think we would, I don't know, I guess, I don't know. Did we hey, think I we, quit we, my last podcast well, yeah, you quit. I'll buy episode 10, okay? Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Quit. So you right? beat the record. So we, 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 we won, we won. Record. Yeah, we won. <laughs> so that's why we're going to celebrate a little bit. <laughs> All we want to do is go the distance. You know that's what I mean? that's <laughs> right, exactly. That's for later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's for later. But did we right. think we would be here? I don't know. And, you know, we're going to celebrate it a little bit because we're just going to, we're not going to do it every 10, but we're just going to retrospect after yes. 10. Ne next one will be 100. Yeah, that's it. Right. We're yeah. not going to, you know, maybe yeah. 50, maybe 50. Yeah, yeah. 50, I think 50 yeah. is good. Yeah. We're now, that's retrospect. True. That's true. No, you know what? Uh, I, after our first two episodes, I knew we'd be at a 10. I, mm -hmm. I knew that because yeah. I, I just, I like you two way too much to not. Yeah. Yo, we like it you. Just, I just, oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, no, but I, I really appreciate this. This is such a, a, a happy um, comeuppance, uh, a, a happy thing yeah. to look forward to. I just, I enjoy it. I do. Great. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot oh, of fun. And it's a ton of fun. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. literally my job now. Yeah, we, yeah, it is. I, your job. So, you, she's so, so in a little, in a little bit about her. In a little bit, yeah. We'll, we'll. Uh, Stacy has done these yeah. like yeah. spreadsheets that are. I, I, I mean, <laughs> she's all over it. And our our home office. We just moved. I know a lot of you people were running yeah. to our home office yeah, in our Lincoln, Nebraska. Anthony, where's our home office at right now? It's, uh, it's in it, Anderson, Nevada, I think. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we had to move. Um, the lease was yeah, up. The lease uh, was up. They got a better job out yeah. there in, in Henderson, Nevada. Yeah. And we've been they're they're um they're not they're not paying Stacy what she's worth. <laughs> Absolutely not. And we're no, we're thinking she does far we're, too much work. She does far too much work. And so yeah. we, we held them over a barrel. 
Anthony and I flew out there. Yeah. And I took all of my Rambo knives. And I was going to say, it went Rambo. Yeah, yeah it went Rambo. Paper, and and <laughs> it's in the uh, Henderson, Nevada Gazette. Yeah. And two undisclosed men showed yeah. up with Rambo knives and bandanas and demanded fair pay for Stacey. Mm. That's right. And oh, we, we got it. Finally and settled. We got it. <laughs> we got and, it. We, and we got it so much that now she's making more money than you and me, Anthony. <laughs> and I'm fine with that because I'm pretty sure she does more work. <laughs> she no. does a hell of a lot more work. Oh, a hell of a guys. lot more. You guys are working. You guys are working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More yeah. than There's me. Other things going on, but yeah, yeah. lots so, of things. No, going on. Seriously, what, like, guys, look back. What do you look back on? Ten. What do you? Uh, what are we feeling today? Gratefulness, uh, yeah. a, a gratefulness and a uh, a second sense of purpose and belonging. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. that's how I feel. Yeah. 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 Stacy, what, what are you getting? From I, that? I'm getting the uh, we found our tribe. We found our yeah. you know what I'm saying? the, the, the yeah. community. I mean, it's been there, but I haven't really been. We're you tapping know, I, into I, it. I, right. We're tapping yeah. into it. We're talking. Yeah. And so yeah. I'm just like, oh, my gosh. We're a yeah. tribe all across the globe. So right, I, just, I right. love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm well, how grateful. about you, Anthony? What I'm are you great, thinking? Grateful and and like still uh, amazed and like still deer in headlights a little bit because right, you right. can't believe that all these people uh, respond like yeah. this. And, are you are you, you know. getting recognized on the street, Anthony? Yeah. Oh yes, I can't I can't leave my house in Toronto now. Oh boy, <laughs> that's right. You can't go anywhere. No. Go to the grocery store. Yeah, yes, I am a co-host. Oh, I'm Anthony. Yeah, do you not know who I'm I am? Anthony. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you not know who I am? Do you not know who I am? Yeah. No, I don't get noticed, which is what I want. But uh, it's you know, it's it's shocking that all these people watch the show and, yeah, and listen yeah. and 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 the things they say and they're promoting us, talking about us to other people. And, right. Uh, all the heartful emotions they're getting mm -hmm. from this little people say we're bringing positivity positive yeah. and and yeah. a community together which yeah yeah it still blows my mind yeah Th those are the comments you know it's it's a tough time right now and everybody's like your message is 100 percent positive and yeah. people have said it's a relief to have it every week yeah yeah and, and we're like me wow. we're, we're i know it's crazy we're meeting people cool from around people. the world. Yeah, around the also world. Also crazy, very who, crazy. Who have felt what we felt? They understand it. Mm -hmm. They've been influenced. They've had issues. They've mm -hmm. had challenges and opportunities. And Rocky has always been in their back pocket. Yep. Yeah. They've always been able to listen to their inner Rocky mm -hmm. and and maybe go the distance in their mm -hmm. own lives. And that's the thing that I, I love the most is hearing these stories because when I do my tours and I, I know I said this a hundred times and I, I'll, I'll happily say it a hundred more. Uh, yeah. People are coming to take my tours to hear the stories and see the sights, of course. Mm -hmm. But my, my win is if I can finagle out of my clients, their story. Yeah. How they yeah. ended up in the back seat of my car. How yeah. are they here? You know, they, it's not like I put duct tape and grabbed ether and, and <laughs> put it over there and mugged them. Okay. <laughs> they did this willingly. Yeah. So why did they do this? And they yeah. tell 99% of them tell me the most endearing, heartwarming stories. Yep. And yeah. it takes a lot. And, and I'm a pretty solid guy in, in the sense that I don't, I don't cry easy. <laughs> my father, my father, I swear to God, he, well, I always think that it's the funniest thing. My dad is probably the most emotional guy I know, which is a very good thing. Mm -hmm. and, but dad cry. We used to tease him. He would cry at like a Walmart opening, a grocery store <laughs> opening. They cut through. Oh my God. I love that. I love that. I love him. So, <laughs> my, my dad. He's going to whip you now. No, he, yeah. he's gonna he's gonna love this uh, because love because we we should talk to him at one point because oh, he really yeah. he, he really does have such oh, a I genuine would love that. yeah he has yeah. a genuine love of humanity yeah. He, yeah. he really does he he he's an incredibly good natured human he really is mm -hmm. and yeah. so mm -hmm. no, I get to. I get that emotional pull from him but mm -hmm. I I also have my mother who my mother has like um. How can I say this? 
She has li- linebacker sized emotional shoulders. Yeah. yeah. She's got like shoulders like Lawrence Taylor from yeah. the New York right. Giants back in the 80s. Right. And, yeah. So she, she is now one of these people who gets overly emotional. Mm-hmm. She will listen. She's more quiet. She takes it in. And then if asked or at an appropriate moment, she will give her feedback. Yeah, and sure. it's always balls on dead eye correct. It's it's yeah. amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there me. is there is mostly sometimes my mother is not good when there's nine people in the kitchen helping her cook. And she's not a good <laughs> patient when she has to go to the hospital. She's about the worst there is. Other than <laughs> that, I, she's gonna kill me for saying this. But <laughs> Other than that, um, because she knows it's right, yeah. um, my mother has really the emotional st- stick to itness. She mm-hmm. really, she really has that. And that, so I have that that yeah. in my father's, and I don't, I don't get emotional very easily. I, mm-hmm. I, I pull back on it, not for any other reason other than I want to be present to focus. And because right. sometimes when you get a little emotional, yeah. Yeah. Where's I going with all of this? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but no. oh, oh, I know it was my tours. And yes. So sometimes I get very emotionally invested with these tours, and I mm. hear their stories. And there is nothing better than that to reaffirm mm. your belief in humanity. And so, yeah. um, our Rocky Files podcast is doing that. Yeah. You know, we're we're yeah. hearing yeah. these stories that make us feel a little bit better than when we clicked on to start. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, so it's, true. It's, 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 it's like my therapy. I'm in such a, I do those yeah. pre-interviews yeah. and I feel it by the time yeah. we're done talking, I'm like, Oh, I'm so excited. Cause I know they're going to yeah. be great. Yeah. Stacey, yeah. How many, I, I've, I can tell you, Stacy, uh, I don't want to hog the thing here, but I, I, I have to mention this. Yeah. Uh, I've heard it from a lot of people uh, and, uh, the difference on our podcast is you um, opposed to other podcasts. It is the oh, Adrian yeah. factor. I've said no. that. It yeah, there's the a lot of podcasts with two dudes. Right. <laughs> you, what you do, Stacy, by oh. pre-interviewing people. Thank oh, yeah. you. Nobody does that. Next no. level. Nobody does no. that Thank in you. the podcast. There is, Jab- as The Rock would say, <laughs> Jabroni <laughs> after Jabroni yeah. out there. Anybody can do a podcast, right? Yeah. yeah. As we all know, I've done maybe 200 podcasts mm-hmm. as, as a guest, and mm-hmm. some are better than others. Right. Some don't always have it lined up. Right. Uh, but the one thing, the more I watch other podcasts and I see how Stacy pre interviews, I see, I seriously. So uh, if you. I was wearing a hat, I would take it off Aww. there yeah. and put it back on. Thank that's, you. Why, I, that's why they're you. always spot on. That's why they're right. always yeah. like, oh, this guy was great. This was right. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Each guest was so great because she's already. She thank you. Yeah. She's already I mean, screened them. Thank you. I, You know, my goal there is to, you know, you want to get their theme. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, I, I want to try to see what their story is or their major struggle is. And, you yeah. know, we have we have a men's mental health coming up. And that that's the th- theme of one coming up. And, you know. We did a youth episode. We did a sliced alone shop episode. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trying to capture their essence so that we can sort of build the rest yeah. of the episode around them. Yeah. And for them not to be so nervous. You know, keep being yeah. yeah. so nervous. And they're like, I don't know what to say. Are we recording yeah. right away? And you know, remember just so when we know. did remember when we interviewed Paige? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so cute. She was so nervous, but she was <laughs> way more nervous before you. And you Right, calmed her down. Yeah, and you brought yeah. and you you yeah. made her a little more grounded. I think. Right, yeah. right. Just told her what to expect. Uh, these yeah. are the questions yeah. that are coming, gonna come at you, and she was ready. Yeah. She had she her was. answer. Her she elevator. Yeah, her elevator. <laughs> That's answer right. We awesome. want we want the most from all of. We don't want them to be so nervous that they can't tell right. their story. So yeah, exactly. It calms Anthony, them a little bit. You. Yeah, get their yeah. thoughts and together, and and then right. we decide. You know, hey, what are the top three things you want to say? And then yeah. also. I also want to be very careful, and this is where the nursing thing comes in, is what do you not want to talk about? You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get on because there are things that are much too deeply personal, and we're not going to put that out there. So why don't we pick what we're getting into and what we're not getting into, Yeah, you know, for privacy's sake. So yeah, but so there's that. (laughs) Yeah. But how this all came together is unbelievable. Still, it's amazing. Still can't uh, understand. Still can't fathom it, but, and you know, some of the stories, I never thought you were going to 
you know, when we got together and said, what do we want this to be about? Really, yeah. what do you want it to be about? Yeah. Their fans and their stories. And you still never thought you were going to hear the stories like we've heard. And they open week up. Is, yeah, every week is awesome. Every yeah. week is awesome. Yeah. Anthony, Come before in. we move on to our next topic, is there any guest that yeah. really steps out for you? And, and, and Stace, you answer this as well. Yeah. Uh, Stacey, go ahead. Oh, that's so hard for me. <laughs> oh, you got to think. think. I need a minute. They're all so great. Do you uh, want? Do okay. you want to go right into guests? Do you want to do Thunderlift second? Since we're here, why don't we do? I was guests already. Recap? I was already on that. I was, yeah. I was thinking. Let's. We'll finish up with this, and then we'll yeah. go into Thunderlift. Okay. Lips. All right. I got one. Go ahead. I got it. I think. Again, all amazing, but I think uh, uh, Rami last week really. He's mine really, too. Yeah, he's really, mine. really stood out. Um, he's such a great guy, and and just his story of <laughs> what he had to go through uh his <laughs> his love i his, love it his hard love to do all the things that he did yeah yeah uh, yeah it's just next level so that he really stood out yeah bring, yeah. bring him up bring him up show that yeah, 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 you got yeah, a picture right. of him? i have a yeah, little yeah, announcement yeah. so here's look at him look at him look at him on that bike that handsome <laughs> sob <laughs> I I know. Him. A good all right. yeah, he, kn he knows he's handsome oh yeah so Come we on. He, now show the next picture. Here he oh, is. Forget oh, yeah. about it. Look forget at it. about it. And then one more. Okay. Oh, so there's, he, our, there's our boy. He messaged Look us today. Oh, and did this, he? Is, this is his outfit for for uh, it'll be Rami on the street in India. <laughs> I That's love his it. outfit. He got his fedora. I love it. He's ready to go. Oh, yeah. he's gonna kick ass. He's Rami, good boy. luck. Good luck with everything. Yeah. Really, he's, I'm, he's I'm yeah. so proud guy. of you. Yeah, he's a boy. Uh, Love him. Who's yeah. episode nine? We'll go backwards. Who's episode nine? Episode oh, nine. nine. Oh, this, this was, so that uh, was 10 because Rami was 10. So we might as well yeah. just go backwards. He was also amazing. Roz. Roz. Her story is incredible. So jealous. Incredible. Yeah. Cannot lose weight. She's completely jealous. Yeah. <laughs> She's amazing. I, I, I love her headband, to tell yeah. you the truth. Look how cute mm -hmm. she is. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. She was, I, I like how, because this is the picture that, she posted for the um, sweater the contest. Shirt, yeah, I love right, how she right, chirped right. me. I loved her chirp when she threw in the Clubber Lang line for me, where she's like, "Oh, I don't consider him a challenge because he is no challenge." Whoa. And she, and she thought she was a little worried about offending me, but I thought that was yes. hilarious. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> I love just that just reminded me because I'm her shirt, but she's awesome. Uh, okay, then so that was net oh, eight. Who's eight. Yeah, eight. We know. We know eight. Uh, Hey, yeah, Elvis. yeah, yeah, Elvis Elvis slash Rocky, my buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sweet, so genuine, so yeah. And I yeah, love that his transparency. He's just yeah. his heart is on his sleeve. Loved yeah. him. Yeah, Mark was number eight. He was yeah. awesome, emotional, lovely guy. Then yeah. we just yeah, mentioned we mentioned her at number seven was hey Oh, hey. there she is. Look at yeah. her. So pretty girl. Uh, she is. Yeah. What an adorable yeah. kid. Yeah, she sweet, did great. Sweet, sweet. She did, she did a great, great job. and she was prepared. Her answers were great. Yeah, yeah. she nailed it. She nailed yeah. it. Yeah, and uh, and and don't make her angry. She will snipe you. Yes, snipe you. She will, She's exactly. a sniper. She will snipe you. Yeah. Uh, it's here you. crawling through the grass. <laughs> yeah, right. You know every right. every like sniper movie where there's a sniper, <laughs> they flip the little eyepiece up. You're right. They look, right. They have that up. I could just right. see her just yeah. sleeping. Just like yeah, a exactly, yeah. exactly, Stacey, you have right. To, you have to yeah. close it first. Yeah. And then close it. Yeah. And I could just see her like a mouthful of chewing tobacco. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. Spitting it off. I got you in my sight. Controls yeah, I, her yeah. controls her breath for that <laughs> one. <time. Yeah>. Oh. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Paige, here's to you, sweetie. We love you. Yeah. You're a million She's dollars a and you're the best. Thank yeah. you. Awesome. Yeah. Number six. Well. We all know who number six is. He's very, very, uh, he, he's very well known. <laughs> there he is. Lorenzo. Yo, yeah. Lorenzo. Lorenzo yeah. on the street getting Lorenzo. the awesome interviews. Awesome. Milo so Ventimiglia. There he is. There he is. Yeah. There he is. Milo. <laughs> yeah. He is a Creed to, um, what, what do we say? What am I, what's the word? Uh, he, was, he was a stand in. Yeah. He's a Creed Milo, too. Milo yeah. He's a, he's a Creed. 
He's a he's Creed two actor. It. He's a oh, Creed yeah. two actor. Yeah. He got a paycheck from Creed two. Yes, he did. And not a lot. Of, I can't yeah. say that. <laughs> yeah, he's got that on that. me. That. That's pretty yeah. amazing. Lorenzo on the street. Yeah. All right. Lorenzo. Lorenzo. He was he was episode six. Then we had uh, episode five, which was our buddy uh, Chris. Chris. This Rocky is Four. Rocky Four. Oh, Chris. Yeah. the flood. The yeah. Flood. <laughs> yeah. The the flood. flood. And then he faced and another one and call it the flood. Yeah. And then he had to face Ida? Yeah. No, he, yeah, he, he faced two in a row. Now, the yeah. second Yay. one, he was fine. But I, he's message, I started messaging him. I'm like, are you kidding? You you know oh, the weather, really? right? And yeah. he's like, he's like, we're prepared. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. Next time you're ready to go. <laughs> he was ready. It was so he's funny. Ready. He was sending that's me pictures awesome. of his generator, and he was oh, ready. Man. Yeah, he was, was ready. Funny. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, that's yeah. great. That Wasn't going to get him this time by surprise. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Right, 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 right. That was he was five. Then we five. Uh, episode four. We had on Amy. 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 Ah, yes, Amy, yes. Amy from the tour. Yeah. Mike, yeah. you found Amy. Yeah, Amy. Yes. I, I, she found yeah. me. I mean, right, her boy, right. her boyfriend right. found me. Yeah. And what a what a Rocky fanatic. I mean, yeah, she is really a top of the yeah. list. Rocky yeah. fanatics. Yeah. That's I mean, a good one. Fanatic. Yeah, there. yeah. She was. She she was brilliant. And just um, a heart of gold, and yeah. Uh, yeah. I gotta check in with her. I haven't seen her on social media in a little bit, so I gotta. Check yeah, in with that's actually yeah. true. It's funny. Yeah. I, I said, I said that. I saw her yeah. message. I was like, "How are you?" I'm like, "I haven't seen you." But yeah. my favorite yeah. part of her story is she did go through a difficult relationship, <laughs> and now she's with this yeah. fantastic guy. I think his name is Jay. Yeah, and it, they're like Rocky and Adrian. It's, yeah, that, that's I it love that. Brilliant. Yeah, so, it's brilliant. Yeah, I think. Uh, she hasn't been on social media because ever since being on the Rocky file, she probably uh, just overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah she with, she with her message the same now. So she's like, yes. forget it. I'm just gonna yeah, take it here for her a little bit. You know, Anthony, you're you are you are right. Cause she told yeah. me they uh before Conan went off the air, Conan yeah. wanted her. <laughs> Yeah. Then uh, they wanted yeah. her on Colbert, yeah. then yeah. on Jimmy Fallon, yeah. and so and Letterman. Here's something that that bring she back Letterman. Amy. <laughs> Letterman said he was going to do a two hour special if he could interview Amy uh, at, at at our home office True. in uh, Henderson, Nevada. Henderson, Nevada. So, yeah. Yeah, too much Henderson, pressure. Nevada. And and she's like, pressure. I can't take it. She's like, No, no, no. Yeah, I'm out of here. She's a recluse. <laughs> <laughs> It happens that quick, I tell you. Here's, oh, wait, we're star makers, baby. You we're know it. Star makers. <laughs> Gatekeepers, right here. That's right. You come on the Rocky Files. Yeah. We're gonna make you somebody. Yeah, that's right. You know how, like, you know, Graceland has the gates of of Graceland. We yeah. we're, we we got to make the Rocky gates. We got to make gates of Rocky Land. It's a yeah. Rocky, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, we'll design something. Two big boxing gloves. That's it. You know. You got it. <laughs> you. Got it. That's awesome. Boom. <laughs> Episode three was our buddy Danny. Danny. Ah, Danny Watley. Yeah. Oh, I love this guy. And I just uh, saw that painting he has in the back. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, that is yeah, so yeah, cool. yeah. That's what that Rocky three game. scene with uh, the interview scene. I want to yes. say uh, just a very quick shout out to Danny right now. Mm. Danny, today, uh, I had a tour today, and uh, when I was uh, in between, they were running up the Rocky steps, and I was going through meme. Danny sent me this video of rocky uh rocky 2 and when rocky and apollo are fighting and apollo rocky pushes apollo into the corner yeah the okay so he's in the corner and the corner has a red i think it was a red back uh pad that yeah. apollo is leaning on and then the ropes come out either side mm-hmm. and then it cuts back to rocky hitting him and then as it cuts back apollo was in a black corner belt so oh. somehow the editing, the editing got screwed mistake. up yeah. yeah yeah and you know danny i didn't tell you this in our conversation <laughs> i never noticed that danny never oh. you know you you're one up on me buddy oh so, one over on mike I, that doesn't seriously, happen oh it never gosh. happens wow. never happens so yeah. I'll, I'll be i'll be flogging myself yeah. with like a leather strap <laughs> and nails so thanks danny we should we should, we should do an episode on the uh, or or a little segment of the uh, Rocky editing bloopers because I've seen quite a few throughout the oh years yeah they're watching yeah. and rewatching and yeah. who cares but I think it's 
I love, I love, I love catching those things. They're fun. We it's can just, just put it out. There's so many. Not yeah, even as sure. an episode, just put it yeah. out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, so a, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, and, it's fun. And, yeah. And I told Danny. Danny's like, "How does this happen?" And I said, "You know what?" I said, "Here's what Sly told me." I said, "We're standing out in front of." The Creed uh, two set. I said they were taking a break in filming between Rocky and Apollo or Rocky and, and, and Drago going at each other. And I told him something about the addresses and Stallone wearing Rocky's hat, got the sweatshirt on. Mm -hmm. He's got a big cigar. He takes the cigar out, puffs on, blows out the smoke. And he said, Mike, you're thinking too much. Just enjoy the movie. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah, don't worry I, about I it. Told, I told that to Danny today, and he just started laughing. He goes, you know, you're right. You're but right. it's fun. That That's what fans do. Yeah. yeah. We, we find these little discrepancies yeah, in the yeah. editing. Details, details. Yeah, details. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, once you've watched but it like 800 times. Yeah, exactly. What What number was Danny? Danny was he three. He was three. Yeah. He was three. Got, yeah. yeah. That, Actually, that's really interesting because Rocky Three, three. is his favorite yeah. movie. Right, right? Oh, I didn't realize that. No, mm -hmm. right. just realized that right Love now. It. Well done. Yeah. yeah, that's so true. Who Who was two? Two was uh, our Marine Austin. buddy. Ah, oh, there that's he is. Austin. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's his wow. wife. He was awesome. He was the only he one to um, interview while, <laughs> while at work. While at work. Now that. Yeah, that's right. He was Rocky like fans. hiding out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was funny. Uh, that yeah. was funny. Yeah. And military yeah, man. Yeah. Veteran. Military yeah. man. Kudos yeah. for keeping our country safe yeah, and yeah. just, you know, having the balls to go and do that, right? join the military. Yeah. And, you know, going in a little bit overweight and then kind of yeah. working his way through it. Yes. Right. And I mean, just, I mean, think of the, think of the guts that takes yeah. just to do that. I, and I guess, I don't know. Like, I know. his whole family, his family, right. his friends, they right. were like, no, right. no, no. And he was yeah. called to do it. No, and he no, did no. it anyway. I love that. Yeah, that, that was, was my awesome. favorite yeah. part of his story. He listened to himself. Mm -hmm. And he's totally. great. Nice guy. Totally. He uh, He's always commenting and watching. And great yes, guy. he is. He's very Chatting. Big fan. Yeah. Oh, who, yeah. Who's number one? Number, number one. Do you remember number one? Remember our tag team duo, number one? These guys were, these guys so. were great. Josh oh. and John. Yeah. Look at yeah, these there guys. There he is. Look at <laughs> this picture. This picture is awesome. <laughs> oh, that's so, my fault. They're oh so my happy God. to, to be the first. Uh, they will John. always be. They will be the first. The first ones. The happy birthday episode. Josh and yeah, John. That's right. Father and son. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what I loved. I got I yeah. got to tell you, uh, they, they were remarkable. And, and that yeah. kid, to have the drive... That kid is probably his, Josh. His his drive was probably bigger than mine at that age. Wow! Uh, because yeah. uh, I, I you, there could be a bunch of reasons why, but I think you know by that time you know Rocky One, Rocky Two was out. But when mm -hmm. I first saw Rocky One, but now you've got decades of Rocky, and yeah. they start to resonate with the father John, mm -hmm. right? Right. And then John passes that on to his son, mm -hmm. and and the son. You know, when you look at your dad, your dad can do no wrong. Your your dad is the perfect example of what you want to be. So, you look, yeah. oh, dad, okay, Rocky is what it is. And then you show your kid, and then all of a sudden, boom, you're hooked. And yeah. his son takes it to another level to yeah. be so involved and to love this character. Uh, yeah. I just, um, I love the both of these guys, yeah. and mm -hmm. I hope we get them back on soon. Yeah. yeah. They and were a great, so, great kickstart. I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's <clears throat> A little bit because of you too, Mike. Well, you know, I, I, you know, I think, I think there's uh, there's yep. some motivation coming from you that we didn't have when we were kids. Someone mm -hmm. like like you to uh, to to he probably got him even more pumped taking your your tour and one two well, three I, times however many times he took it. I, I paid Josh fifty bucks to be <laughs> psyched up to take no. it or talk about. Yeah, it. yeah to talk. About. Oh, Mike was great. Yeah, yeah, Mike, that was what you wanted me to say, right? You were great. Right. Okay, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's reading off of what I said. No, no. He, th thanks, Anthony, for saying that. Yeah, that, that's really Mike, nice. I there was there was that. no Mike uh, back then to to. So you know what I mean? Like we loved the movie, and but yeah, that's all yeah. we had was was the movie. Right, and, right. But. <laughs> You add, you give this extra layer, this, yep. I don't know, this behind the scenes kind of thing that yeah. makes people understand more. And as a kid, that's very, uh, it, it sticks with them. So yeah. I can tell you. That's all you, man. 
if I thank you, if I was 11 years old <laughs> and my father said, hey, we're going to go to Philadelphia and there's this guy. Yeah. And he's like this Rocky guy thing yeah. and knows a lot about it. I would be in awe. I would Her, elevate yeah. that man to celebrity status. Yep. Got like it. I would put him way uh, just because what the character meant to me, but see, there was nothing like that. I, the, yeah. what I had was my parents growing up. Mm -hmm. They, they were the people that inspired me because they mm. took me to Philadelphia. It was my 15th birthday that's when we ran through the italian market i i don't know did i ever show you guys those pictures of me running through the italian market at 15 i'm not sure no i don't think i don't, so. think I don't so. recall that, oh, I don't recall I that. okay you know what Add i'm gonna that. load it up. i'm gonna stop talking right now about it because that is such a brilliant um story so mm -hmm. i'm 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 going it, it would fit well here but i'm yeah. going to save that for another time because that uh what my parents did for me on my 15th birthday um deserves its own yeah i guess moment so it's on the list i wait on that speaking of our list yes mr stallone put out quite an interesting yeah. Yes, he did. So, the other day, yes. Anthony, do you I'm have very, that? I'm very confused. I'm sure Stacy was like, huh? Somebody, somebody read what he wrote underneath the picture. Yeah, I'm going to put it here. I, he posted this, a little small, but he posted a picture of him, as you see there, with Thunder Lips. Obviously, a, uh, you know, behind the scenes while they're filming kind of thing. All right, keep mm -hmm. that up while you're reading. Because I don't remember the latter in the, in the scene, but might yeah. as well let another secret out of the bag before the release of Rocky four. Mike, what's he talking about? All right. So first thing I want to say the latter, there is a very iconic shot and, and leave this shot up too, by the way, yeah. uh, there is a very iconic shot in Rocky three mm. looking down at Stallone, looking at Hulk Hogan's nipples. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Yes. You're looking up. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So it's just a funny scene. So that's the ladder. That's why the ladder is there. The cameraman yeah. is on the top of the ladder looking right. down. Right. Got it. Now, look at Rocky's feet. Where are they standing? On the ring, right? Yeah. Oh. Look at Hulk Hogan's feet. What are they standing on? Oh, he's I up on a, on a level. Oh, I just noticed that. He's on a crate. There's a platform. He's the platform. There's a box crate there. Oh, exactly. I and just saw that right now. What he wanted, he wanted the maximum amount of realistic height that he yeah. could get mm -hmm. to tower mm -hmm. over Rocky. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. Be because Hulk Hogan is a massive city block. He's a huge individual. He's two refrigerators, okay? So isn't he like six seven or something? Crazy yeah, like yeah, that? he's yeah, some ridiculous yeah, yeah. height, okay? Mm -hmm. Three hundred mm -hmm. pounds plus, and right. Stallone, mm -hmm. as we all know, is and five nine, five ten, depending. I mean, I know he's listed as five ten, so there, there you go, five ten. So when you look at it in the movie, the odds are that much greater. Right. What's the yeah. old uh, religion story? David and um, Goliath. Uh, Go yeah, David Goliath. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So there you go. You know, here's Sly. The, Rocky. The, okay. All the odds are against them. It's a charity match. And yeah. the odds are against them. Right. Right. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Me ball. <laughs> the ultimate <laughs> versus the ultimate, the ultimate meatball. meatball. The ultimate meatball. I mean, okay. the street so. pros, the, 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 the verbiage that Sly uses, mm. how do you not fall in love with yeah, the Yeah, I line? know, right? I know. Yeah. The know. verb, the lines. And that, my friends, should take us into our next what a, segment. What a segue. The the verbiage, the lines. Stacy, the quote. Uh, Stacy, what is our you have put in the the most work on this, so why don't you yes. tell what do we got? This is definitely our biggest response that we've ever got. Um, I got 97 separate quotes. So mm -hmm. I, I I thought maybe I get in the 40s or something yeah, in the 50s. Right. Right. And so we called for everyone to vote. What are your top five, top 10? I got 97 separate. These starting at 10, Anthony, we're going to go backwards. Uh, and this is, these were the highest votes for all the three of us voted and all the right. fans that yeah. sent in. These are yeah. the top 
of our little community. <laughs> so, right, yeah. so, so, so we're going to say, you, Stace, you're going to say yeah. the fans 10, and then we're mm -hmm. each going to say our 10 very quickly. Yeah. yeah, right, sure. right, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. All right. So, so we, we, have a, we have a we have a ten A and a ten B here. <laughs> oh yeah. No. So let's do ten ah, B. Right. 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 We, right, right, we right. just threw an extra one in, so we're just gonna start with the extra one. So this exactly. is ten B. This is ten B. So ten B is uh, don't get mentally <laughs> irregular. Mentally <laughs> irregular. I love that. That was our ten B. Listen now. Don't, yeah. No, no shock. I forced us to have a ten B. That's one of my favorites. I yeah. love that yeah. one. Yeah, I do love that. I one. use that all the time on my all tours, <laughs> my yeah. personal life. We'll be yeah. in we'll be in like the fruit aisle and the bananas yeah. look a little <laughs> bruised. And Sue will go to grab that bunch and I'll look at it and go, hey, don't get mentally irregular. We ain't going yeah. with that one. And she'll go, Yeah. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> he he it, did a rocky it, line at the store. Yeah, she's the best. Yeah, yeah, she's the best. Just don't get mentally irregular. Okay. So that's our 10. So, okay, here we go. Our true now, number 10. All right. True yeah, number 10. 10. Number 10. Nobody owes nothing. You owe yourself. Love that line, him love and Paulie. I love, I love that scene. So it was a yeah. fantastic scene. Amazing. Really, oh, and we all scene. know somebody like Paulie in that moment, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? We all know a Paulie, okay? Yeah. yeah. Anthony, what was your number 10? My number 10? Yeah. My number 10 in my list uh was the adrian win okay just the, the win stacy all those beatings you took in the ring i took them with you oh nice one nice that's a good one that's a unique my, one that's a good one no i like that one yeah yeah i did that's really good yeah. my number 10 was you want the bird go in the alley and eat the bird <laughs> I like that one because my yeah. brother, my brother Jason and I, we we say that really a lot. And yeah. there's another one; yeah. it didn't make the top ten, but yeah. there's another one. My brother and I say, "Want me to take a shot? I'll take a shot." Yeah, I love, that. Yeah, I love that one. So my my brother and I use that all the time. That's great. That's funny. That's Stace, a good one. Number nine, Stace. Number nine for uh, me or for uh, no the it, what ours. was the vote? Yeah, yeah. The, oh, the, yeah. Uh, from everyone. Yeah, bring it. Yeah, yeah. What I'm trying to say, it, it basically is the whole pe speech. Some yeah, people right. were the sending speech, yeah. portions of the speech, but basically right. that everybody can change speech. Yeah. Was, it's such a, change. it's such a yeah. well known. That's such, yeah. that's such sure. a well known line. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Anthony, what'd you have for nine? For my list, I had it. It's it's a different one. So for me, number nine, I put the word the the line bum. Because you're a bum. Bum was such a line that was used throughout. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, I like put that. I put bum as yeah. number nine because we heard it almost immediately in Rocky One too. Well, who's that oh, lady yeah. screaming? You're a bum. You're a bum. You're a bum. <laughs> yeah. And it just for me it was a constant that word bum and I use it all the time. We, me, and my brother, you're a bum. You're mm -hmm. a bum. We use it all the time. So for me, I put number nine as the word. The line bum. Well, hmm. I like that, and I like yeah. your rationalization. Stace, yeah. how about you? I ha it's this one wasn't popular. I one only one other person voted this with me, but to you it's Thanksgiving. To me, it's Thursday. Oh, and, I like that line. Yeah, I like that line. And oh, I, yeah. I love that. Yeah, it's a good line. And it's just mm -hmm. it. It says so much about yeah, him. Rocky. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it's how just like how lonely he is, and how lonely yeah. he is, and that that one little line is yeah. It speaks volumes. So, yeah. So, you know, you when you said just said that, I literally just reenacted that whole scene today on the tour, yeah. and and it's interesting because I do I want I I just want to say about all these lines, mm -hmm. we should put a caveat here. Um, when we decided to do this, I was in a particular emotional, mental mood. When I said, what are my favorite lines? Because there's so many. Anthony mm. Anthony had said many, many times that there are many, 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 many lines to choose yeah. from. Mm -hmm. And he's right. So yeah. in in two months from now, I may be in a different mindset. Right? And my, and yeah. my personal exactly. list may yep. change. Yep. When I wrote this list out and sent it to Stacy, I was in a particular mindset. Right. So, so and, and I'm sure that goes for you guys, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But boy, Stacy, what a great line that is. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, this is the <laughs> thing. This is as hard as which one's your favorite Rocky. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. There's no there's line so I don't that, like. Yeah. There's so many I, I struggle with and passed off because I'm like, yeah. but I love them all, but tried to pick, you know, your, your best. But mm -hmm. Mike, my, what do you got? My, my number nine is argumentative and many people told me it should be higher. Uh huh. Uh, going one more round when you don't think you can makes all the yeah. difference in your life. Right. Many people have told me. Yeah, that's no higher on our list. Yeah, that's, that's, that yeah. is higher yeah. on the yeah. list. Yeah. yeah. Anthony or uh, uh, Stacy, I'm sorry. Number eight. Number, number eight. Number eight is my number ten. Win. Win. Ah. Win. Yeah. Ding. This was popular. This Win. was real popular. <laughs> that, that scene. What are we waiting for? Take yeah. this. <laughs> yeah, and that that was in there. That's the whole scene because people yeah. would say, "What are we?" Yeah. For? Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. just was, any any you, portion of that. <laughs> do you guys do you guys agree with that? It Being, wasn't on it, my list. I had other Adrian things on. My I list, put it as so. ten. I and, and again, that was your ten, Anthony. That was my ten. So I know we spoke about this off a little bit, where it was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, do you love the line or do you love the 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 moment? I don't know. It all goes hand in hand. So I mean. <laughs> Well, I, I, I get, I get. It's just a one-word line, but I, I think it's more about the moment. But yeah, yeah. You know. And and we're going to do a top ten Rocky yes. moments. Yeah, not we are. lines. Yeah, moment. That's a good idea. Top ten Rocky moments. So people yeah. send in your top ten Rocky moments. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome too. My number eight was yeah. not a phrase necessarily spoken by actors. Mine was inspired by "No Easy Way Out." Mm -hmm. Because I mm -hmm. use that quite often in description uh, descriptions of yeah. what I'm feeling towards a particular moment. So no easy way out. Just I thought yeah. the name of the song. Yeah. Boy represents quite yeah. a lot of things in my life. True. It's yeah. almost like a line. I mean, it's yeah. like such a popular yeah, yeah. song. So it's almost. Hey, yo, yeah, that's good. Yo, Paula, there ain't no easy way out. You know? Yeah. Stacy, number seven. Stacy. I. Oh, I just lost it. I'm sorry. Oh That's yeah, okay. you ain't you ain't so bad. You ain't nothing. I love that whole thing. <laughs> That's good, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, really. Yeah. That's what everybody voted. Yeah. Really. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh no, that's mine. That was no, no, oh, that's, that's yours. yours. Yeah. That's okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. What did everybody that's vote? True. What did everyone vote for? Are we on eight? The seven. I don't even know what number We're on seven. Seven. We're on seven. So on seven, everyone voted for. Yeah. You're gonna eat lightning and lightning crap. Thunder. Crap. Thunder. Oh, I got yeah. that higher. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do I have it? Yeah, mine's a little bit higher too. Yeah. All right, yeah. Anthony, what's your number seven? My number seven is I got heart, but I got no luck, or do I, man? Ooh, oh, I like that. I've always loved that line. Yeah, nice. Always love that line. Yeah. Nice. That's my seven. Yeah. Stace. Yeah. Go for it. Go for oh, it. Oh, really? Just yeah. plain old go for it. Okay. I love it. Because I got love a that. song too. It's got a song. You know, the. Go um, for it. Go Boom. for it. Right. He's Boom. nose to nose with Clever Lang. And yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he's yeah. just not afraid. And yeah. he was afraid the first time around. And yeah, yeah. true. True. That's yeah. a good one. Nice. I like that moment too. Mike, nice. what do you got for seven? Time takes everybody out. It's undefeated. That's oh. a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. That the yeah. older we get, that yeah. that resonates with me. Yeah. A yeah. Lot. That's good. Time yeah. is undefeated. Yeah. All right. Uh number, number six, six for everyone's list. Yeah. Get up. Get up, you Get son, up, you son of a bitch. Mickey, Mickey loves, loves you. <laughs> Rocky Five. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm glad Rocky Five cracked this uh, top yeah. ten here. I'm really glad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wanted it represented here, and I'm glad yeah. a lot of the fans thought that. Uh, yeah. Anthony, what'd you have for six? Mine was you're going to eat lightning and crap thunder. I had it higher, so mine was five. That was mine one for five. I uh, got you. Got yeah. you. Stace? All I want to do is go the distance. Nice. Which is nice. coming in a moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that's okay. Mike, what did you do for five? What's your top five here? Hey, yo, I stopped thinking the way other people think a long time ago. You oh. got to think like you think. Think. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. and that's another thing that resonates yeah. with me yep. all the time. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, again, it can, it can yeah. change in two months from now, but that's right. what I'm thinking. Yeah. All, all right. right. Everybody, what did everybody say for five? Uh, Four. No, no five. Four, five. Sorry, five. Yeah. Five. Uh, that one is it really don't matter yeah. if I lose this fight. It really don't matter if this guy opens my head either. 
because all yeah. I want to do is go the distance. Go the distance. That's a great one. Yeah. That's a great one, and I feel that one should be a little bit higher, but okay, yeah. that's fine. Anthony, yeah, what you throw? what's your what's your number five? Uh cut me, Mick. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That's a yeah. good number. I could see that. Yeah. Hey, how about you? Uh mine was one we already said, and that was you're gonna eat lightning and crap thunder. That's that, mine. Yeah. Eat lightning, crap thunder, number five. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. And Mickey's nice. eating the grapes in Rocky too. You're going to be a very dangerous wife. I love that. I, I love that. <laughs> yeah, he's eating the grapes. He's the grapes. Yeah, the he's green the grapes. grapes. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. All right. Uh, number four. four. Anthony, what did yeah. everybody say? Number four? I don't agree with it, but that's fine. Yo, Adrian, I did it. That's that's everyone's number four. Oh, uh, Wow. I think it should be higher, guys. That's an iconic line. That's no, but I think it should be higher. Oh, oh, oh! I, I thought you meant higher. Like you? No, yeah. no, no, no! I think it should be up. Okay. Higher. Yeah. But all right, Anthony. It, what it you is do? iconic. My number four is. Um, where is it? I should have broke your thumbs. Oh, nice! Yeah. I like line that. I love. Another Good line choice. I love. Yeah. Good yeah. choice, Stace. What you got? Thumb. I had, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place on this. Um, right. Yeah, I, I had, I pity the fool in there. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love yes. Clever Lang. Yes, I love I, Clever Lang. I, too, I yeah. love Clever Lang. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. so glad he yeah. made the top yeah. 10. Yeah. You yeah. want to know another one me and my brother always say, what? always yeah. say, yeah. pain. 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 Yes. Always pain. Pain. Oh, that's great. <laughs> but we say I pity the fool all the time. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, that's that was one I grew up with. You know, if He's we got so pissed at somebody, oh, I pity the yeah, fool. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's great. Time. Mike, what do you got? Jurgens to Rocky, night before uh, the fight. Ah, uh, it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's a heartbreaking. I line. love that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because I love that I've been, whole moment, yeah. I've been told that by people mm -hmm. before. It doesn't really matter. You don't yeah. you don't matter. Yeah. And and, and Stallone captures this in this moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So beautiful. Yeah, because it's like you're just there for the show. You're exactly you're you're just a prop. Who cares? Right yeah, who cares? Exactly. Yeah. Anthony, number three for everybody. Number three for everybody is all I want to do is go the distance. The distance right? All right. All right. Yeah. I don't, I, yeah. I, I, I'm saying that's fine. Yeah. Uh, Anthony, and, and, what is. And that's funny. Ahead. That lines up exactly. That's my number three as well for me. Okay. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. That's what Nothing I wrong with that. Crazy. Yeah. Stace? She's got gaps. I got gaps. Together we fill <laughs> Together gaps. Together we fill gaps. You know. Oh, that's love sweet. That. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I know. That's oh, such a that's good. good. Line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Great my, mine was. I, uh, Hey, you want to dance? You got to pay the bank. Oh, you yes. Tomorrow, you got to pay the man. Yeah. Give me some money. Give me some money. Yeah. I say that <laughs> all the time on tours. Uh, when we go by the particular location where that yeah. happened at, I'm always Dude. saying, right here, you can literally see where yeah. Rocky pins him up against mm -hmm. the tower oh, of that yeah, metal yeah. thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Forget about it. Forget mm -hmm. about it. All right. Number, um, everyone's three. number two. Everyone, number two. 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 Everyone's yeah, two, number sorry, two. Two, two. Everyone's, yeah. Going in one more round, one more round when you don't think you can. That's what makes all the difference in your life. You had that mic, but lower. I, I had it lower, and I'm regretting yeah. it because today I feel it should be higher. So yeah. I, I, I will not disagree yeah. with that. Anthony, right. what, what is two. your number two? My number two was it ain't about how hard you hit. The, the whole really? thing. Yeah. Okay. The whole yeah. thing. Beautiful. Yeah. Stace? Mm -hmm. Mine was the Duke. Um, where at, Where is it? I just lost it. Mine was that Duke speech in, in Rocky IV when he, oh, oh, do you it. know, he yeah. said, do it, do it. Just yeah. the whole speech. I yeah. just, gotcha. That's a good I don't one. know, the hush that came over the crowd when he was giving that speech yeah. to Rocky. Right. I, yeah. For me, it right. froze me, you know. Yeah, you to... I love that line too. Michael? Uh, all I want to do is go the distance. I put right. that number two. Yeah. That that is the epitome of my life. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be the best. I don't need to be known. I just want to be able to do yeah. what it is I want to do. Right. That, that's it. And that's just I just want to be be there. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Number Beautiful. one. What number is number one for everybody's what is, votes? Is, what is come on? 
We already Mike? know. Mike, you know. Oh. Go for it, Mike. There oh, this is my life. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place. And I don't care how. <laughs> I can't even do it because I love it so much. I'm getting chills. Yeah, it's so yeah. good. I, I, it really is. It, yeah. it, it's something that Sylvester Stallone came up with that yeah. is so brilliant. Yeah. It is exactly how I try to live my life, especially the older I get. I don't complain anymore about ah, this one's not doing it. Or, it's this one's fault or that one's fault. Mm -hmm. It's it's all on me. I bring yeah. it or I yeah. take it uh, or I leave it. And so, yeah. and that that's the thing about that speech. Um, yeah. That I, I don't think there's a, a greater speech in movie history. Yeah. I know. It's not just a Rocky speech. It's just in it's general. A philosophy. It's a, yeah, exactly. a life philosophy. And like, it's absolutely universal. Like, yeah. Yeah, you can use anywhere, that anywhere, any country, any situation, any yeah. like culture, that's such, anything. Right, mm -hmm. a perfect, masterful piece of writing. Just that whole speech, that yeah. whole scene, right yeah. from the, the minute he starts, when he's like, you know, I held you right here. From the, that moment, it's like, oh, forget it, forget it, forget it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Man, that, was, that was that was that was that was my number one. That was my number one. Your number yeah. one. No, yeah, no, all of us, we all agree. Yeah, my number was, one was not that. Oh, okay. You're you're gone. F goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I know that that like I shouldn't even say that's my number two. It's like a one A one B. But yo, Adrian, I did it. Is the oh, I know. Like, you talk about Rocky when people in other countries you say what are you oh rocky yeah yo adrian yo adrian i did it that's what everyone always quotes mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that is the line that he says when he did it so yeah. to me that's got to be number one because he reached his goal there and that's just that's the most iconic line for me yeah you know Anthony, gotta be. I, I, there there is zero fault in in what you're right. saying because one, it's also personal and two yeah when you achieve something uh, when you achieve something so un unattainable, yeah. yeah, who's the first person you want to reach out to? It's the person yeah. that loves you the most. Yeah, it's the person that cares the most. Yeah. If I ever get permission from Sue to play a particular message, uh, there is a message she saved that uh, after Sly and I were fighting each other in front of the Rocky statue, he's punching yeah, me in the yeah, face, yeah. literally. Once he had to go, there were 30 seconds later, I called her. She was the very first person I called. And I was crying on this message I about how emotional. It's, awesome. it, it's a hell of a, <laughs> a of a goddamn message. And yeah. if she allows us to use it, there's a great story that goes behind it. And yep. uh, I'd be happy. I'd be happy to have you guys hear me cry. Yeah, uh, we'd and, love to. And she's the first person I called. Because that's so, real stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's real yeah. stuff. So I had yeah. to put that as... Number one, because whenever you well, think of Rocky, well that's, done, what I think of. that's what I think of as number one. Well yeah. done, Anthony. Yeah. yeah. Even though number two, I like the speech better. Yeah. Yeah. As, as more emotional, but you know, I can't. No, no that I, I, there, there is nothing wrong with the choices. So yeah. I, uh, one, I want to really thank everybody for writing in their yeah. choices because well done. Because that's what this web, this uh, uh, site is about. That's what this podcast is all about. Just it's yeah. it's, it's about Rocky fans, yeah. And and your voices putting it out there, and, yeah. and to yeah. that that's what I always hoped we'd be able to do. Yeah. So interacting, yeah, yeah, interacting exactly. So yeah. we're gonna do our next. I think our next top ten will be top ten uh, moments, moments, yeah. Rocky moments. Yeah. Or, so start or thinking, top, everyone. Top five, top yeah. five. I, I'm not sure which way. To go, I don't know if we went too long with the top ten or whatever, but right. but either way, uh, the, your top it. your top five, top ten, Rocky moments. Yeah, yeah. Start thinking. So a lot, a lot of people have, have been um, asking about this um, Rocky painting that I, that I did, but yeah. I want to put that on the back burner until maybe episode fourteen or fifteen because it's such a long, beautiful story, yeah. and to do it justice, I want to tell it how I tell it on the tours yeah. because okay. if if it, it just what happened it just it doesn't deserve anything less than being told word for word how it happened but what yeah. i'd like to mention right now yeah. i'd like to take a few minutes and talk about how 
I found all the Rocky sites. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is yeah. So, <clears throat> so I was uh, born and raised in a uh, little town north of Scranton called Scranton, uh, north of Philadelphia called Scranton, Pennsylvania. And one day, Sue and I were in the basement and we were watching Rocky, my, my parents' basement. We we're watching Rocky on a VHS, uh, a VCR, rather. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. And so <laughs> I, I paused it. And I said, hey, it's like 1990 now. I said, hey, what do you think we go down to Philly and we try to find some of these sites? And she goes, how are we going to find these sites? She goes, we we're, we live in Scram. We we haven't been to Philly. Like, I mean, well, yeah. how are we going to find them? So I said, okay, let's let's do this. I, I rewound the movie and then I played it. And every neighborhood scene underneath the elevated train scenes Mm -hmm. I grabbed my Polaroid camera. I paused the TV screen <laughs> and I took a Polaroid. Wow. Oh my God. Now, Ken, all you guys. This is, this is old school, Ken. This is old school. I love this. No cell phone. <laughs> yeah. No Google Earth. Yeah. No yep. internet. No yep. nothing. No phone. No, you nothing. don't have a phone to even. I like, don't have a phone. Yeah. You can Google right now. Google your phones. Rocky filming locations. Come up. Yeah. In a second. Right. right. So I said, okay, what are we going to do? So when you would pause, it's not like a DVD or Blu-ray or digital. When you pause the VHS, you oh, got wiggling. Oh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't that yeah. great of a, a screenshot. Right. right. It's so, not clear. so we wanted to go on a Sunday. And this was a Saturday night. There, there was no instant photos. Mm -hmm. Right. You went to Kmart, you dropped off your pictures, yep. and it took a week to yeah, get back right. from a regular camera. It took yeah. a week. Yeah. All right. So I said, okay, that's not going to work. So I happen to have something here that uh, is the original that I used. This is the Rocky novella. It's a, a photo novella and it's Rocky one, Rocky two. And when you open it up, it's all these stills oh, perfect. Of, oh, cool. of the movie. Oh, okay. Awesome. And it had all areas of the everything city. You needed. Oh, yes. Everything cool. I needed. That's your map book. So I had this book and I had about 25 Polaroids that I took of the neighborhoods. So Sue says, all right, we got the pictures. We got this book. How are you going to find it? I mean, I said, okay, we're going to take a map. Map is one thing. She goes, well, how do you know? Philly's a big place. How do you know what section? Yeah. Aha. On PBS, about a month earlier, I watched a documentary on the subway systems okay. of, the East, of the East Coast. Oh, my gosh. So they did Philly at one point. And in Northeast Philadelphia, Kensington is the only part in Philly where it's above ground. Yeah. The elevated train. Oh, the L. Okay, okay. I said, ah, if I can get to the L, I'm just going to drive up and down underneath the L. Yeah. And we, we did that. Now, I had a 1983 Dodge Ram. <laughs> it was a Fred Flintstone mobile. <laughs> you could pull back <laughs> the carpet underneath the gas and brake and clutch pedal because it was a stick shift. When you pull back, and <laughs> Sue will tell you, when, when we interview Sue at some episode, oh, I can't wait. Up, she, she will tell you, you could pull back the mat and you could see the ground. It was so <laughs> rusted. Going 70 miles an hour down the northeast suspension of the turnpike, yeah. you could see the ground going past you. I'm not kidding you, okay? Oh my God. Oh my God. And I had these two speakers in either corner of the cab, and they were these little wires that ran to the AM only radio. That's all we had. <laughs> right. Listening to this little tune, trying to get a station to come in yeah. as we went down to Philly. So we drove around a little bit. We didn't know where we were going, but we had a direction. Yeah. And we ended up finding it. And Anthony, I sent you a picture. Yeah. It, Could it, you post that picture of. Put, put it up? Yeah. yeah. There you go. There you go. Look at this awesome photo. So here, Very here panoramic. Panoramic. It's three photos. If you look, there's the first photo where it says professional boxing with the station wagon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you can see the, the cut 
pitcher. Then there's yeah. the middle, and then there's the third pitcher off to your left. Or yeah. well, I guess it would be to everyone's right. I guess. Right, right, right. All right. Look who's standing behind the station wagon, <laughs> underneath the boxing sign. I know it's hard to see. Yeah, and the, we we can't enlarge it. It will be bigger when it's it's up. I, I, yeah, and on my Instagram, I'm going to put this picture up, like on my Instagram, so okay. you can go and enlarge it. That is Sue. <laughs> she That's is funny. standing there in 1990, filming for Rocky Five. Just finished. Oh, it just finished. Oh. It just finished. Now what you're what you're looking at, that red brick building with the white graffiti on it, yeah, that's Mighty Mix Gym. That's the side of it. Yeah. This is the side that Rocky would have walked down in Rocky One. And where Sue is standing, that's where Mike was adjusting the garbage can. Yeah. And Rocky and Mike talk right there. Right. Rocky then goes into the front door of Mighty Mix Gym. Yeah. Sue is standing there with her arms folded. She has a pink <laughs> shirt and she's wearing this little pair of Daisy Dukes, which was just, I mean, I love the monitor. Um, <laughs> and she know. looked great, but her arms are folded because she's thrilled. Yeah, she, oh yeah. She was very nervous. There, <laughs> there was a ton of guys across the street. Now I'm taking the pictures. Oh. This is me. I took these three pictures yeah. and yeah. There's a bunch of guys from the neighborhood, and they're all catcalling her. And oh, she goes, no. Let's get out of here. I want, and I go, no, no, we got to take the picture. So. So she's it, like this. Yeah, she wants to get out. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't need the attention. Yeah, Anthony, put that back up a second. In the background, if you look, you will see the J&M Tropical Pet Shop. Yeah. It's right underneath the L uh, on the first picture. So it would yep. be my, my, okay. You see the white bars in the window. That's Adrian's pet shop. I it was it. a real pet shop. So Sue and I go in and there's this old Italian lady who's miserable. <laughs> and, and we, I said, is this the pet shop from Rocky? And she goes, yeah, big effing deal. What are you going to buy something? Buy something or get the hell out. Every day, everybody comes in here. Oh my they God. want to know. Is this it? And so oh my God. I was, I'm walking around, and it was the most god-awful smell in the world. Oh, yeah. It, it was horrific in there. I can imagine. There was so much to buy, and I didn't buy anything because I was so blown away that I'm in Adrian's Pet Shop. Did they have souvenirs, too, or... Was no it a, souvenirs. It was I a real pet shop. See, pet she would have made okay. money if she did that. Yeah, oh, she would have. Yeah, she would have made so she much would've. money. So that turned out to be Joe Marks's mother, the <laughs> man who runs it. Right. J, J and M Tropical Fish, Joseph Marks Tropical Fish. Oh. That's where the J and M comes from. Okay, so we come back out on the street. So Gloria was, wasn't working. No, Gloria Damn. was not working. <laughs> Gloria wasn't there. Damn. On the street. In the middle of the street, that is where, right underneath the L in the middle, that is exactly where Rocky fights Tommy Gunn. Right here in the middle of the street. Oh, really? It happens all right there. That is so cool, Mike. Yeah, yeah. That was that was a one in a billion shot for me. One in wow. a billion shot. I could not believe. I used to have dreams about this location <laughs> i used to have a dream that me wow. and stallone this is so corny and cheesy i can't no it's it. not i'm he's gonna just, I'm, I'm gonna say this and if sly ever it. sees this he's never he's gonna revoke my friendship card with him <laughs> so i used to have these dreams like remember in uh, the zapruder film where kennedy gets shot yeah uh -huh. back into the left yeah right? back into the left all right i had this dream that me and sly were in this open car the, the open no roof right convertible we're both sitting on the convertible in the back seat we're elevated up above and there's a parade and we're parading right down in front of How mighty fun. mix gym and they're playing the music yes i had this dream all the time up until i found this gym in 1990 once i found the gym i never had that dream again and it was wow. the cheapest thing. And Sly would look That's over to me. telling you something. Man. I know. I know. Sly would look over to me in the dream. He would say, can you believe it, kid? You're finally here. Oh, that was it. Wow. That was the dream. That Mike, I don't know dream. if that's a dream. That's like, a, what do they call it? 
uh, a, a, a site, third site premonition. The premonition. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah. That's that's not a dream. That's a awesome. Prophecy. That's uh, awesome. yeah. Ro- prophecy. Fate. So I go yeah. back there. It is. I, I never. I go back there all the time. Every day. I'm there twice uh, a day doing tours, and uh, there is such a humbleness. Now I want to say something also. You'll see uh, above Sue, above the station wagon, is the sign "Professional Boxing." Mm-hmm. It was on both sides of um, of the uh, of the gym. Yeah. That's the original painted professional boxing sign from Rocky that was on both sides. Mm. Both sides, still wow. so, yeah, it was yeah, a, yeah. So unreal. That, yeah, uh, fans, someone stole it at some point. I wish it was me. <laughs> I wish I had. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's no longer there, but um, and I wish you thought like that. I, oh, you you said I that wish. this street is is where they had the Rocky Five fight, but in the movie, was it not them? Was it not supposed to look like they were fighting in front of the bar? Am I uh, wrong? I'm not sure. I know what you mean. In Rocky Five, when Tommy Gunn yeah. comes over yeah. to the mm-hmm. bar and they're stu- and they start to to fight, right? Was that not outside the bar? Not outside Mickey's gym? No, no, no. It, it was always supposed to be right there. It was in the movie. It was supposed to be right there because uh, – put the picture up real quick. Yeah. All right. All the way. So you see the fire hydrant opposite where Sue is standing? Yeah. There's the fire hydrant. Yeah. Mm. There's the sidewalk. You can't – you can see the sign for Andy's bar. Oh, I see it now. Also, oh, it it's all right there. It's oh. all right there. Andy's oh, okay. bar is right there on the I corner. I was somewhere else. Nope, right there. Oh, okay, yeah, I see now, it now. Yeah, yeah. What What's interesting about that picture is that uh, they didn't film inside. They yeah. filmed Stallone leaning out the door. Yo, Tommy, what are you doing? He's supposed to be, you know, celebrating. You want to come down here and throw hands with me? Right. And then Tommy Gunn comes in the bar, punches Paulie, and yeah. Rocky and Tommy Gunn go in the back. Yeah. That was a soundstage. When they go in the alley, there's no alley in back of the bar. Mm. It's just houses butt up against each other. There's mm-hmm. no alley. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There, there is a walkway. Okay. Absolutely. And when Rocky picks Tommy Gunn up and he carries him and crashes through the gate, there right. was a real gate that was there. And then they crash on the ground and they start fighting in front Into of the Mighty street. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. And then the whole Tommy Gunn fight takes place right there. Oh, okay. Boom. That's yeah. awesome. That that's cool. cool. Yeah, that's, that's, what I a great it. story. That's, that's so a great cool. story. Yeah. yeah, that's so. So I wanted to kind of go back to the beginning because that yeah. really is the beginning for me, mm. and, yeah. and and I I really got into telling the story about our paint the painting last time, and yeah. and I love that story too. But this kind of predates that, and I wanted yeah. to go in a linear fashion. Right. I wanted to so people could go back and say, oh, okay, this is what he meant. So uh, there's going to be some more things I'll say. I'll get back to the painting, probably episode fourteen, mm-hmm. episode fifteen. Okay, I'll I, write it I, down. <laughs> yeah, I, I thank you, thank you. <laughs> Mike gave us a little prequel. That's what he yeah, gave us. I, I, that's the prequel. I wanted to give you a little heads up on that because it was such a revolutionary time in my life. And yeah. on the way home, I remember getting on the turnpike and Sue said, you know, boy, could you imagine if somebody ever did a Rocky tour? Somebody should do a Rocky tour. Wow. She she literally said that after f- seeing that location. And I was like, because we went to the Rocky Steps that day and yeah. the Italian market and so on. And yeah. and I have a I have a great story. I guess I guess I have a story that even predates that. Oh boy. <laughs> because when I was I, I will give you a, a tiny preview. When I was 15, um, there were no Rocky tours, there were no Rocky and yeah. nothing. Oh. Yeah. And my dad and my mom for my 15th birthday said Let's go to Philly. Let's go to the steps and the Italian market. That's so cool. And that was the first time I ever went to Philadelphia. And I will send you pictures. Yes. Yeah, we have yes. to see these pictures. Oh, I've got the little Nike black shorts that he wears in Rocky <laughs> 3. I'm wearing a yellow shirt. I got the tube socks up to my knees. <laughs> and I'm running in the middle of the yes. Italian market. Yeah, what else would you do? This. Yeah, you know, and, and there's so much that happened during that, so I'm going to tell that, and and it plays actually, it plays a a big part in the Pretender. So if you if you see the Pretender poster, um, yeah, and you look 
inside the Rocky statue. You're running up the steps. And I'm running up the steps with the yellow shirt and the little black little shorts on. Yeah. You will see that is a precursor of the story I'm going to tell you uh, when we get to it. Man. Oh, my God. Well, I love these great stories. Story. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, I gotta, I gotta take my hat off to my parents. My mother and yeah. father gave me the probably the greatest yeah. birthday Aww. gift ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ever. That's awesome. That's that's a, so there's always, there's always a beginning, and that's 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 great. That's so they're so loving. You could tell. I, so I love your yeah, parents you, from no, the pretend. Oh, I was like, oh, I love. Them yeah, so when much. I saw they're them on so the, sweet. we gotta get them. We gotta get them on here. We gotta get I would love. Here. I would love, mom, if you're watching. I yeah. would love to get she's you and watching. dad. I hope she is. Yeah. She she sends me notes every week, and she <laughs> loves this. So and nothing nothing makes me more proud than when my mother's. Oh. My dad always sends me positive notes. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah. when my mo my mother holds back on compliments just a little bit. Just, mm -hmm. She just waits for the right moment. Yeah. Aww. And so when, when I get a compliment from my mother, I say, ah, okay. I've done something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I would love, I would love to interview them. Uh, but, uh, so that, that'll be up to them. They, they, they'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, they will be. Please sure. come on. Look, I'm looking at. Them. Oh, please. we would love. Yes, please, come please, on. please. Right. <laughs> Ma, what do you need? What else do you need, Ma? Yeah, Ma. Just sit there. We'll let Jason set up the video. Uh, <laughs> we'll be all set to go. Yeah. You get the link. No worries. Yeah, right. A good yeah, Italian boy. Right. I won't say anything. All <laughs> <laughs> right. I won't say anything. <laughs> all right. Let's Stacey. do a direct segue to. Caption that expression. Caption yeah. that expression. All right. What bring the up. hell does that mean? Wow. Okay. So this, this refers tell to you her. What this means. So bring up. Uh, so I found this picture of Sylvester Stallone with the funniest yes. expression on his face. And I'm sitting there looking at him going, what in the world? Why <laughs> does he have this expression on his face? Yeah. So I was like, hey, I want to see what people are going to say. And people are so creative. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah, what I I'm just gonna go through them quickly, but then yeah. I have my top four, and then the top one is just absolutely the best best <laughs> one. So uh, uh Laura Delgado, uh damn, I've made so much money. <laughs> <That's one. laughs> um, and then quit uh uh quit vision coalition. He said he said Creed three. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, he said, yes, I know wrong time frame, but that was his, his submission. And then yeah. Karina, Karina's so cute. Karina from Romania. She says, I think he's thinking about us fans. <laughs> and I was like, well, what he thinks is a, a his fans. I wish, I hope he's a little happier than that. But yeah, anyway, right. um, Carol. Oh no, this is, guess who said this? Call me Lorenzo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Who said that? Um, sure. And then Lorenzo's second submission was actually funny. He goes, I could be home with my family and I have to do this press stuff. <laughs> I think that's the most accurate. Uh, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, Carol says, I don't need to toss those eggs back up and up. I don't need to toss those eggs back up in this crowd. <laughs> <laughs> like it, like he's sick to his stomach. Right, right, yeah, right, right. right. Um, Chris says, should I make Rocky seven? Oh, uh, yeah. Anthony, our own Anthony says, I really need to get out there and recut that Rocky four. <laughs> <laughs> he's busy. He's thinking about working. Uh, Rami uh, says maybe I should have rethought before auctioning off my Rocky script, which I uh, completely agree with. Yeah. Um, okay, these are the top four. Um, Bryant, this was adorable. Bryant says, you know, I really got to check out that Rocky Files podcast everyone keeps talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah, that's good. I like that one. Uh, Rami says, uh, oh, this I love. And you know what? I'm going to shout out to um, Eric in Japan. He's going to appreciate this one. If you say you didn't learn anything from Rocky Five, I'm going to strangle you with my golden pocket square. <laughs> 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 and our friend Justin says a funny one. Justin says, I hope nobody else smelt that. <laughs> Wow. Just, wow. Okay. Now I want you to take the picture down because I want to capture Mike's uh, reaction to this one. 
My number one, and I think the absolutely funniest one is, if Mike asks me one more question about Rocky, I'm going to break his thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. And yeah. that comes like, from our dear like friend, that. Rami. That's Rami. Yeah. He's, he's no, been in three. That's good. That's yeah. good. I should and have that, that's probably that, that would probably be the number two uh thing that Sly would say. Yeah. No doubt about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, that's Ramy, Ramy, I believe me, you're right. You, you really are. <laughs> but I think that that picture was from uh when Sly was uh, inducted into the boxing hall of fame yeah. up in Canasota, uh, uh New York. Yeah. And so I, I to me, I think Sly must be saying I kinda I think one of our other uh listeners had had it right. They said <laughs> I can't believe I'm here in Canada, New York, and I got to yeah. go through all of this bullshit. Yeah. That's, yeah, you know, that's what I think Sly is yeah. thinking in that picture. Yeah. Okay, just, let's wrap it up, people. Yeah. Okay, Mike Tyson, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, Don King. Okay, let's go. Let's, yeah. It's just so funny. I want to get the hell out let's of here. Move it yeah. along. Yeah. yeah. That's probably what he was thinking. Yeah, that's a good one. Anthony, before we get to our shameless plugs, we're wrapping up here, but I do yeah. want to, these are old videos of, from the beginning, uh, episode yeah, one, they are two, from we, the beginning. we never got these in anywhere. No. And these are beautiful messages. They're very quick, two quick little videos, one yeah. from Jude and one from Darren. Can you just yeah. play one, them one after another? Yeah. Other? Thank you. Hi there, Mike. My name's uh, Daz Barber from Warrington, England. And Rocky inspired me from your boxing. His speeches are incredible and it gets you right to the art. I watched every single one growing up and still do to this day. And every time I have a fight, I always watch Rocky IV the night before. Amazing film. Keep punching. <laughs> he was good, that guy. He was good. Yeah. Yeah, here's the he second one. He was exceptionally naked in there. <laughs> well, we couldn't see anything, so I'm like, all right, yeah. we're, it's, it's still yeah. G-rated. I saw a lot of flesh in that one. <laughs> but he was feeling it. He was feeling wrong. He was. He's yeah. a boxer. He's, He's a, a boxer. boxer. Yeah. yeah, that's really I cool. would not want to owe that guy no. money. No. 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 And then this. Hey, how you doing to all you Rocky fans out there? Um, yes, uh, Rocky inspired me in a lot of ways. I've been through a lot of things in my life you know uh, I've been shot uh, been through a lot of things on the street and um, if it wasn't for Rocky's movies believe it or not I, I don't think I'd be here today and I just want to give him a big thanks for that and um, continue to do what you do because there are people that you motivate out there such as myself and um, God bless Amen Wow that's a real one Yeah, that shot. that's a shot. real one man yeah. He was shot. I get a hangnail and I cry. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. put the nail clippers yeah. the wrong angle yeah. and it goes too far. Yeah. I start crying. Yeah. He really. was shot. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. a tough oh. guy. Yeah. Oh, I, I kind of want to know a little bit more about his story, but I, I, I would, think yeah. we know, yeah. do we know who that is. Um, let me see if I have I, I I'd like I, to talk to him and see. You want to talk to him? To yeah. yeah. That's because, a real deal. Yeah. Here he is. Uh, do I have his? No, I don't have a. Oh, yes, I do. I always loved Rocky. It saved my life. I got mugged one day and I fought Jesus. back. I was shot. And honestly, all I can think about was how Rocky oh. never gave up, kept going. And that's what I did. So I am thankful he gave me the will to go on. So I, I think he has quite a story. Um, the Rambo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, guys, the Rambo guy shot. More Rambo, yeah. yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, so let's, I'll, I'll reach out let's, to him. Let's see if he'd be interested in yeah. talking about his life. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, That's sure. awesome. Wow. All right. So shameless plugs of the week. What do you got, Anthony? What do I have? Um, I posted about this today. Uh, the King's Cast, my other yes. little- my Absolutely. other little, my other little podcast that I had before this, uh, nothing major, but uh, then then you guys came calling. So, uh, but I am putting out an episode uh, next week, Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, I had an uh, an interview in the can, which I, I had to put out. So I'm putting it out next week. It's with an uh, an author. Her name is Sally Hodel, and she she wrote uh, the book. Uh, it's called Destined to Die Young. So I won't go too much into it. It's an awesome book, uh, right. awesome interview. She's she's a she's a great author. So 
that's coming out next week, Wednesday or Thursday. I'll, I'll keep everyone updated on what day I choose, but please do. Definitely. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna put it out. Like I said, great interview, great book, great story. Elvis fan or not, um, mm. check it out. Yeah, yeah. that's up. Nice. That's all I got. Uh, yesterday, you may have uh, seen. Well, it won't be yesterday by the time this goes. But uh, I put out a story post of us all looking like cartoons. For so yeah. my shame, my shameless plug of the week is Bitmoji. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, Bitmoji. it's not going okay. away, Mike. It's not going to go it's away. Not. It's not going I just away. Want you to know that Anthony and I are have Bitmoji, but yeah. somebody else on the team does not have Bitmoji. Yeah. Yeah, and so uh, my my next challenge is for all of you out there who have Bitmoji, please send Mike your Bitmoji no! character. No, stop it! To yeah. the Yo no! Billy yeah. film tour no! on yes. Instagram. Oh. oh, now he's gonna get flooded. With Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Son of a all right. Bitch. All right, I'll yeah. take it. All right, I'll I'll redirect. Oh, man. I'll redirect. Send them to me. All of you have Bitmoji. No, no. now I'm going to get them because they know I don't want them. They're <laughs> going to send them to me. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. No, oh man. man. Ping, ping, ping. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'll be looking. Oh, is this Sly messaging me? No, it's Bitmoji. No, Bitmoji, oh, Bitmoji, bit Bitmoji. <laughs> Everyone. I couldn't resist. I'm yeah. sorry. Thanks, Stacy. No problem, darling. <laughs> Paybacks are a bummer. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't, I can't uh, I'm very creative. Can't wait to see I what happens. I have no doubt there. about that. I have no doubt. <laughs> Let's just say marching band in the middle of the night. Let's just say that, okay? Oh, my <laughs> Let's God. just see how that goes over. <laughs> All right. It's over. Yeah. Shameless plug, Michael. Do you have one or no? <laughs> Listen, if you get a chance, um, I wrote a book called uh, Cue the Rocky Music. Yay. I, I want to read this book. So I, good. It, it's a lot of fun. It goes into um, a little bit more than what I normally talk about uh, on, on how I got to be where I'm at. Uh, I run a yeah. little thing called the Yo Philly Rocky Film Tour. And there's a little movie about me called The Pretender <laughs> the by Pretender. Tim Toscano. And it's a brilliant thing. It's on Peacock. It's on Tubi Television. It's on Amazon Prime. Go check it out. And, um, you know, you can... Um, Give me a big holla at my Instagram, yes. uh, which is the Yo Philly Rocky Film Tour. Awesome. Beautiful. Guys. All right. Great episode. We want to thank That's a wrap. We want to thank the fans for 10 episodes. Yeah. This is going to be 11. You guys have, uh, you know, 11, kept, 11. Kept us going, gave us motivation. We love you guys. So, absolutely. Keep it up. It's all about you guys. What's the, what's our, our slogan, Stacy? For the fans. About yeah. the fans, by the fans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And what do we always our, our Gettysburg address? Of, yeah, of yes. the Rock Nation. Yes. 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 Exactly. And what yeah. do we always say after every episode? Keep, keep, keep punching, punch. guys. Yo, yo, good night, everybody.